Today we are flying what seems to be Libya's most reliable and professional airline, Libyan Wings, from its capital Tripoli all the way to Istanbul. After a rather hectic flight on Afrikia Airways, I was looking forward to give Libyan Wings a try since I've heard a lot of flattering comments by local and foreigners about the airline. After a couple of days exploring the beautiful country of Libya, I was ready to head back to Turkey and continue my journey. So please join me on an interesting aviation adventure. Guys, a wonderful good morning from the beautiful country of Libya. This is part two of my Libyan aviation tour and today we be flying Libyan wings on their Airbus A319 all the way to Istanbul. So let's go on another aviation adventure. But before we head to the airport, let me tell you a little bit about my time exploring the country. The most important question, did I feel safe? Absolutely. I've been to several conflict and war zones, but Libya is nothing like that. Everyone is extremely kind and helpful, and not once did I feel uncomfortable. Also, the country seems to offer great infrastructure, a decent but non-threatening police and military presence, and most importantly, nobody at any point had any issue with me recording. <laughs> From exploring the stunning and ancient mountain village of Tarmisa with an incredible view over the vast desert of Libya, we went to check out Leptis Magna, one of the most important cities of the Roman Empire. It was incredible to see how well preserved it was and luckily the country isn't open for tourism which means we had most of the place to ourselves. It was definitely worth exploring. We also explored Sabrata, another ancient Roman city that was added to the UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1982. Last but not least, we discovered Tripoli, the current capital of Libya, with all its markets and cafes. A bustling capital, full of history and many stories to share. However, now let's head to the airport and find out what Libyan Wings is all about. It is 5 a.m. I'm just waiting for my airport drop-off, taking me to Tripoli's airport and then we are off to Istanbul. So let's do this. With the start of the civil war and the no-fly zone introduced over Libya by NATO, the former main airport of Tripoli was bombed and closed by 2011. For seven years, there were no flights to Tripoli at all and traffic was moved to Mitiga in 2018, a former military base, an airport that was never designed to handle passenger traffic, hence the poor infrastructure. So guys, I'm all checked in, uh, however, there's like a police guard with me who's like minding everything I do, like a, a tourist police. Um, he is with me until we get on the plane, so I'm going to be a little bit cautious with the filming. I don't necessarily want to piss him off, though he's really nice. But once we get on board, we can go all crazy again. Thank you, bro. Thank you for everything. Huh? Yeah. Legend, legend. Legend. See, see you in Libya. Okay, <laughs> be in touch. <laughs> hey, Mark. Who's your favorite aviation blogger? Daphne Samchui. Samchui. <laughs> <laughs> Daphne. Daphne. Did you hear that? I did. Did Dude, you hear that? to kill him uh, later or now? Who's your favorite? Um, all time favorite of all time. Aviation blogger? Yes. <clears throat> I don't think I've met one yet. Ginger yeah. no. <laughs> I haven't met one. Ginger no. I was supposed to put that in the blog. Now I can't. Oh, I have to beep. It's a yeah. beep, beep. Uh, <laughs> enjoy Libyan wings. We will. Yeah, yeah economy you class. Economy <laughs> yeah. You enjoy. You too. Yeah. You yeah. Economy yeah. class. <laughs> and off they go. It's always sad to say goodbye, but uh, we had great uh, days in uh, Libya. And my friend Rowan, which you've seen in a few videos before, he runs Young Pioneers tours, where they take you to very exclusive uh, destinations. So um, if you want to join one of his tours, which are a lot of fun, um, check out the link in the description box below. And if you mention my name, um, you will get a 5% 
discount. So I can strongly recommend them. And uh, now we are getting ready to fly to Istanbul on Libyan Wings Airbus A319. started our bus boarding since Mitiga doesn't have any jet bridges, taking us to our plane for the day, a 17-year-old Airbus A319, which is leased by the airline since 2018. Before that, the plane was in service with the Chinese airline Shenzhen Airlines, which took custom of the plane in 2006. Let's get on board. Libyan Wings offers a couple of international destinations such as Istanbul, Tunis, Jeddah or Antalya. Unfortunately, the airline is banned from entering European airspace. The limited flights to Rome from Tripoli, but these flights are operated by planes registered in Malta by an airline called Medsky Airways. But they seem rather dodgy and there wasn't much information available online. Hi, how are you? Thank you. And here we are, welcome on board Libyan Wings, featuring 8 seats in a 2-2 configuration in business class, as well as 120 in economy. All four planes of the airline feature the exact same configuration. So guys, here we are. Welcome on board Libyan Wings Airbus A319 to Istanbul. Three hours. What can we look forward to? Meal service, loo review, and hopefully nice views climbing out of Tripoli. Very excited. Had a lovely welcome by the crew. And uh, so far, so good. We then pushed back and the safety demo was on the way and perhaps now is a great time to hit that subscribe button because I'll be flying to China, Russia and Antarctica before the end of the year. So some great aviation content is coming your way. Now let's lean back and enjoy the climb out of Tripoli. Right after takeoff, the crew was serving breakfast and believe it or not, it was pretty decent. Also, the crew was super kind and professional. Right after breakfast, tea and coffee was served. So, and here we are in the back of the plane, two lavatories. Uh, Lou looks okay. Um, food was actually pretty decent. And um, what's the major difference between Afrikia and Libyan Wings? I think on Libyan Wings, uh, they're much more trained on service, service experience, um, uh, branding. Um, also, the cabin is a lot in much better shape than it was with Afrikia. And I think Libyan Wings is probably run by more passionate F geeks. So they really invest time into the product and they're going to try to make, uh, with the resources that they have, they try to make it a decent uh, flying experience and that shines true and that's what I like about it. Uh, crew is also very, very lovely and uh, yeah, we have another two hours to go until we touch down in Istanbul. The rest of the flight was rather eventless and there isn't much in-flight entertainment. However, the airline features an onboard magazine which is only available in Arabic though. And from what I was able to gather, the magazine was 95% full of advertisements. So I'm sure I didn't miss out on too much. Alternatively, I could always enjoy the view out of the window, avoiding entering Greek airspace. The crew prepared the cabin for landing and the weather was very bad in Istanbul. However, the pilot 
absolutely managed to butter the bread given the difficult circumstances today with the rain and all the wind. However, the only thing I didn't like about the flight was that the crew didn't care that a couple of passengers got up right after landing, grabbing their stuff, walking around the cabin and creating a massive safety hazard for other passengers with open overhead lockers. I think the crew requires additional safety training when it comes to cabin safety. So guys, and here we are. Welcome to Istanbul International Airport. Living rings are liked. Solid food, solid product, a nice crew. Um, everything was actually very pleasant. So I um, can only congratulate them on how well they are doing, uh, considering the circumstances, the sanctions, and everything related. So really well done. I enjoyed it. And for that price, I paid 180 euros. It was spot on, really well done. So, and I am going to continue on Salam Air tomorrow, budget airline from Oman, from here to Muscat, then to Colombo, one sector in their business class and the other one in economy, also a new airline. So if you want to see that one, um, yeah, subscribe right now. And if you want uh, to, yeah, have extra perks, uh, enjoy my WhatsApp group, get your cool KL hearing, the red one, the special edition that I only have uh, December, uh, and you want to get your hands on it, check out the link in the description box below. Otherwise, guys, thank you so much for watching. Your support means the world to me, and wherever you're off to, have a safe trip. And indeed, a lot of things happened on my Salam Air flight to Muscat. From exposing a massive business class scam, I also ended up tackling a disruptive passenger on my flight, saving a young lady from sexual harassment, with the airport police getting involved. If you don't want to miss out on that video, feel free to subscribe right now. See you next week.